want to say to the class of 2004 and beyond is you give me, you give all of us, something to hope for. Thank you. Five years ago, we established the Stanley O. McNaughton Golden Apple Award. This award honors educators who inspire students to be successful in academic or vocational areas. The award is named for the late Stanley O. McNaughton, former CEO of Pemco Insurance. Throughout a highly successful business career, McNaughton was first and foremost a teacher, a person who believes strongly in lifelong learning, long before the phrase was ever coined. His active support of the Golden Apple Awards contributed greatly to the growth and success of the awards. And now it's my pleasure to introduce this year's recipient. Three years ago, a dream was born when a group of Seattle parents recruited Maria Brandon to head the Seattle Girls School. Maria came west equipped with a vision that would soon change Seattle's academic landscape. She created an integrated curriculum where middle school girls get to build things, test theories, and assert themselves on a daily basis. Maria is delighted to see her diverse student body interact. They become polished and very individual gems as a result. They may enter as girls, but they leave as future world leaders thanks to Maria's never-ending belief in them. I have my dream job. This is what I dreamed of. How many people can say that? I dreamed of school, and I get to go to it every day. Ready? Rock and roll. It's community meeting time. Community meeting time. You better sing with me. Community meeting time. Maria said more than once that she thinks that middle school girls are the best. And so every day she comes into school with that vision of, there is nobody better than a middle school girl. And from that vision, she knows that she is training the leaders of tomorrow. Getting you all to be at the center of your learning, writing down your goals, measuring yourself against yourself, whether you're at this school or another from this point forward, that's key to whether you're going to succeed at what you choose to do. And then if it's a perfect square, then out. you should be able to choose a regular interval. The kind of curriculum we teach is called an integrated curriculum, which is all project-based, all hands-on, focusing on critical and creative thinking, problem posing and problem solving, uh, and bold thinking. The curriculum the eighth graders did is called The World and Beyond. This term we're working on aspects of aviation. What we're practicing on is the Minimax airplane. We haven't necessarily built the whole thing, but right now we're working on the wheels and the tail, and soon we'll be working on the wings. They began the year with a two-week residence at the Museum of Flight, where they did ground school, weather school, flight school, and then each of them took off and co-piloted in a four-seater plane doing two flights, one as co-pilot and one as a uh, cartographer from the back seat. We we can fly. At the end of each term, every student has to do what's called a culminating project. And at the Museum of Flight, the eighth graders will be doing their culminating event where they will be docenting tours. They'll be presenting their original research, so they have to stand and deliver. Bessie did not allow it. She just continued to pursue it. We're working on getting some special eighth grade stuff going. We have a mentor program in which every girl who's new to the school gets a mentor who's a woman from the community who's stepped up to volunteer for a year, uh, a year at least. I think I'm the only one that's doing like the history of something. There's a lot of research that looks uh, at the effect of a mentor on a young girl at this age is very powerful in terms of her growth, widening horizons, and, and really getting her to believe in herself. Mari knows that they are totally capable of anything they desire to do. And by the time she's done with them, they're going to know that deep in their heart. I guess my goal is, is for every girl to graduate. And when that person says to them, listen, you can't do something because you're the wrong color, you're the wrong size, you're the wrong shape, they look at that person and they say, you know what? You're an obstacle, but you're not a stopping point. And now I problem solve it. I can go around you, I can go over you. If I have to, I can go through you. But guess what? I'm going there. Well, I am just honored to have been chosen as the, the Stanley O. McNaughton Golden Apple recipient. And while I would love to take credit for all of this, um, I simply cannot. Uh, Seattle Girls School is the product of the best faculty and staff I've had the privilege to ever work with. 
uh, a board that is relentless and tireless and dedicated, uh, hundreds of vol volunteers and educational collaborators. We really, we see the community as our classroom and try and get out there as much as possible. Um, and all of the families who believed in us and believed in our dream and dared to even dream with us. Um, I could not be prouder of this school and where we've come in three years and these girls. And they may not be perfect, but they are growing and daring to live our lessons out loud together. Um, they are our future, and that means we can all be hopeful. And Governor, um, I understand you'll be leaving your office soon, and as the school that is training the next set of world leaders, I just want you to know we're hiring. So, <laughs> thank you.